Hi, I welcome you all in Youth Minds Initiative, Daily Dose of UPSC Prelims MCQs. As you know, medicine dose is necessary to cure diseases. Similarly, to clear UPSC CSA prelims, a dose of MCQs is essential. So let's get started. So today we'll be discussing five questions. So the first question is, what act? protects digital data protection for the American financial sector. The four options are option A, Digital Personal Data Protection Bill, B, Gordon Moore Data Act, C, General Data Protection Regulation, D, Graham Leach Blyle Act. So the second question is, which drug used to treat various cancers has been exempted from basic customs duty in April 2023? Four options are option A, K. Truda, option B, Joel, Zol Gensma, option C, Will Tepso, option D, Itali Zumab. I know these names are hard to pronounce, so please bear with me. Third question is On whom did scholar Thru Vika confer the title Vicom Virar, that is, hero of Vicom, for playing an important role in Temple Street moment, movement, that is, allowing entry for all castes in the 1920s? Four options are option A, TK Madhavan, option B, Neil Kandan Namputri, option C, Periyar E.V. Ramaswamy, option D is Koval Ayamuthu. Now we move on to fourth question. Which amongst the following are regional names of curd in India? First, Dahi, second, Mosaru, third, Thair. Fourth, Purugu. Fifth, Jamt Daud. Choose the correct answer from options below. Option A, 1, 2, and 5. Option B, 1, 3, and 4. Option C, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Option D, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we move on to fifth question. With reference to the intangible cultural heritage, consider the following statements. First, India has been elected to the Intergovernmental Committee of UNESCO's 2003 Convention for Safeguarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage, that is ICH, for the 2026-2030 to cycle. Second, Durga Puja in Kolkata is not included in the list of intangible cultural heritage. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Option A, 1 only. Option 2. Option B, 2 only. Option C, 1 and 2. Option D, neither one or nor two. So now let us discuss the solution of first question. The correct answer would be option D, Graham Leach Blyle Act. So uh, let us discuss all the options now. Um, basically for data protection, there are two approaches in the world right now. The first one is comprehensive legislation and the second approach is sector specific regulations. So, the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, embodies the comprehensive approach, offering the strongest and most stringent framework to date. And secondly, uh, the sectoral approach in the United States, as, three, as seen through laws such as Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, in healthcare, and the Graham Leach Blyle Act, GLBA, for financial institutions, is a patchwork of regulations tailored to specific industries. Gordon Moore, the legendary Intel Corp co-founder, predicted the growth of the semiconductor industry. He made a simple 1965 prediction of how quickly engineers would boost the cap capacity of computer chips. So this is completely out of picture. Option B. Uh, now the digital data protection bill will apply to the processing of digital personal data within India where such data is collected online or collected offline and is digitized. It will also apply to such processing outside India if it is for offering goods or services of or profiling individuals in India. Now, let us discuss the second question. The correct answer would be option A, K. Truda. So, all drugs and food for special medical purposes imported for personal use for treatment of all rare diseases listed under the National Policy for Rare Diseases 2021 are now fully exempted from basic customs duty. The union government declared through a general exemption notification. 
the center has also fully exempted pem pembroli zumab ketruda used in treatment of various cancers from basic customs duty option d itoli zumab was launched in india in 2013 under the brand name alzumab itoli zumab is biocon's second lab to market novel biologic after nimotu zumab and offers best in class biological drug for acute psoriasis zolgensma is a prescription gene therapy used to treat children less than 2 years old with spinal muscular atrophy that is sma will tepso that is wilto larsen is an injectable medicine that that's used for rare genetic conditions condition called duchenne muscular dystrophy that is dmd so now we move on to our third question the answer would be option c periyar ev ramaswami it's one of uh, most famous movements in southern india so on march 30 we mark the commencement of centenary year of vicom temple street entry movement that was launched in 1924 and a milestone in temple entry movements in india this known violent movement was to end the prohibition imposed on backward communities in using roads around the vicom mahadeva temple it was the prelude to the temple entry proclamation of kerala in 1936 launched by leaders in kerala such as tk madhavan pk kesava menon and george joseph on the advice of mahatma gandhi the movement was sustained and successfully conducted by periyar ev ramaswami then president of tamil nadu congress and others between 1924 and 25 as mark of, of appreciation the editor of tamil journal nava shakti and scholar through vika kalyan sundaram or through vika Conferred the title Vicom Virar, that is Hero of Vicom, on Periyar. So moving on to fourth question, the correct answer would be option C, that is one, two, three, four, and five. So let us discuss the context after an uproar over the insistence on displaying the word dahi prominently on curd packets marketed by milk federations in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. The Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, that is FASAI, withdrew withdrew its order. issued on march 10 the fasai revised its order and changed its labeling provisions recommending the display of the word dahi prominently and its equivalent in regional languages in brackets milk federations can now use regional names such as mosaru thair peruggu zam daud or dahi so for fifth question the correct uh, option would be option d that is neither one nor two Uh, let us discuss the options india has been declared to the intergovernmental committee of unesco's 2003 convention for safeguarding of the intangible cultural heritage for the 2022 to 2026 cycle hence statement 1 is not correct according to unesco the core functions of the intergovernmental committee for safeguarding of the intangible cultural heritage are to improve the objectives of convention provide guidance on best practices and make recommendation on measures for safeguarding of the intangible cultural heritage the list of intangible cultural heritage elements on the unesco's website includes 14 entries from india these are first one is durga puja in kolkata 21 kumbh mela 2017 uh, navroj and yoga 2016 fourth is traditional brass and copper utens- utensil making among the Thatheras of Jandiala Guru Punjab, 2014. Sankirtana of Manipur, 2013. Buddhist chanting of Ladakh, 2012. Chhau dance, Kal Belia dance of Rajasthan and Mudi Etu of Kerala, 2010. Raman festival of Gadwal, 2009. And Kuti Attam Sanskrit theatre, Ram Lila and Vedic chanting, 2008. Hence, statement two is also not correct. Thank you for watching this video. You can visit our website www.yuktmind.com. You can also visit our Instagram page, Telegram channel and Twitter ID. Thank you.